Hello, my friends. It's Poet WP again. Today, as I was watching these Kavanaugh hearings and the fear in the Trump White House, the prestigious, impeccable Bob Woodward's new book, and it's, uh, you know, hasn't even been released that yet, but it's been leaked and excerpts and you got Kavanaugh's hearing. Hundreds of protesters getting arrested. It's all very unprecedented as everything has been. It's all falling apart. And uh, St. Michael's coming around. He's bringing the wheel of justice, the wheel of karma, sword of truth. And he's going to oust these evil bastards. So, uh... First thing that popped in my head as I was analyzing and absorbing all this bullshit was the first special service force in World War II. As an as a person who is life's mission is a anti-war advocate, I'm a man of many parts, and ironically, <clears throat> I'm also obsessed with military history, war, understanding war, and even more so understanding the people, the minds of the people. That cause war. So yeah, I'm well versed in warfare. In the study of war, history of war, military strategy. First thing that came into my mind was first special service force. Dos. There. Let me. Uh, roughly. What is this? What is this we're looking at? Sorry. Das. Das Dicky in der Komet Notch. Roughly translated, the worst has yet to come. Yeah. This is the first Special Service Forces dagger that they had custom made for themselves, for them to carry. It's one of my favorite daggers. Yeah, the worst is yet to come, so brace yourselves. Das Dicke in der Kompt Notch. See, the story behind this sticker is <clears throat> when they would bum rush these Nazi bastards, they'd oftentimes get within hand to hand combat distance, hence the necessity for such an effective, swift weapon such as this, super pointy to pierce through dense clothing, winter clothing. When they would uh, vanquish these demons, these Nazi bastards, they would have a bunch of these stickers, and they would put them on their helmets. Das Ticket in this Kunst Nuts! The worst is yet to come, you evil bastards. So, let me read you what I wrote this morning. The 6th of September, 2018. <laughs> Oh, it's just getting started. The hands, the hounds, rather, the hounds of, can't read my own writing. The hounds of hell have just gotten a nibble. It's just getting started. Brace yourself, Republicans, because the worst is yet to come. I'm telling you now, stop living in fear and anger. You will draw devastation to your lives now more than ever. All the energies have shifted into a new paradigm. Your state of mind has always manifested and formed your reality, but now it is it has been amplified or increased dramatically. You will draw to yourselves the energy you feel like a magnet. You Trump supporters were beguiled by the final manifestation of the Antichrist. And what a weak, pathetic, morally repugnant, and supremely ignorant and arrogant manifestation he is. He didn't, he didn't come out right. He's a mentally challenged Antichrist. No one ever thought such a low-level, base, and competent demon could ever reach such staggering heights. Satan is pissed. We're at the final battle 
before the Great Awakening, the war for our minds. It's not going to be a big cataclysm. It's not going to be a war. There's not going to be a damn civil war, okay? They're not going to do shit, all right? This guy's going to go, and the truth's going to come out, and that's where it's going to end. They're not going to do shit. They may be they may be crazy, but there's not that many of them that are suicidal. And it is a war for our minds. It's not going to be a real war. It's not going to be a great cataclysm. Okay, we've transcended all that at this point. It's no longer needed. Donald Trump purged all the negative karma. He was the throat. That, he was the finger down our throats to make us puke out all the poison. The Great Awakening. The war for our minds. Satan's pissed off. We're at the final battle, and this is what he has to work with. <laughs> Thank God. The beast is already under St. Michael's foot. Uh, his heel, St. Michael's heel, just landed on the crown of the serpent. Tear it all down. We are reborn into the little light. The truth cannot hide here. And you will no longer exist in this space. Not like it was. It's over. Get over it. So. Dust, Ike, or whatever the fuck. The worst is yet to come. Just get over it. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I mean, you're just going to suffer if you don't let it go. You were wrong. You were beguiled. It was... You were bedeviled. I mean, it should have been obvious. It should have been very obvious to anybody who ever read the words of Jesus Christ. It should have been very obvious to you that this man is not your, uh, not your messenger. He's quite the opposite. It should have been so obvious. But no. It's because you're led around by your fucking balls, by your ego. That's why. But uh, now we all have to reroot into the heart center. We have to reroot into compassion and the greater good. Uh, not your stupid ego, okay? It's not about you, okay? It's about the world. It's about the children that are suffering. Okay? We still got a bunch of babies in cages. All right? Donald Trump is a malignant, narcissistic psychopath. Stop supporting him. You're going to go to hell if you don't. You got to get off the Trump train now. So that's that's what that's the reality. So wake the fuck up. Change your ways. All right. Good luck. God bless. May the Lord Jesus Christ awaken within all your minds. Christ consciousness is dawning. Take it.